second. Hi guys, welcome back to 58th part of the Arduino tutorials. In today's video, we'll be working on the stepper motor. In my previous videos, we have already covered the topics on DC motors and servo motor. If you have missed those videos, just check out the link from the description box. Basically, a stepper motor is a type of brushless DC motor which gives continuous rotation but in terms of small steps known as step angle. Because of this stepwise movement, we get very precise control unlike the normal DC motors. That's the reason we can see these motors commonly used in industrial applications, CNC machines, 3D printers and robotics. Coming to the construction of these motors, there will be a rotor which is made up of permanent magnets and stator consists of multiple coils. The stator coil is energized, the produced magnetic field pulls the rotor towards it. When we energize these stator coils one by one in a sequential order, then we get a continuous rotation. So there are multiple ways or the sequence order in which you can activate these coils. The first one is the wave operation or the normal mode. So this is a very simple and basic form of controlling the stepper motors. Here we have to just energize the coil one by one and at a time single coil will be activated. Moving to the second one which is full stepping mode. Here the way the shaft moves is exactly same as the wave operation but instead of one coil at a time two coils will be energized. This makes the shaft to move at larger force resulting in higher output torque. So this method is very useful in the application where you require more torque. So moving to the last one which is half stepping mode. For half of the time one coil will be activated and for remaining half of the time two coils will be activated. So that's the reason the shaft will move with smaller degrees and it has to complete more steps to make a revolution. Since we have control over every small degree, this method is very useful in the applications where we need precision control rather than the torque. So this is the concept behind different modes of operation. In any of the modes, if you want to run the motor in the reverse direction, so just we have to energize the coils in the reverse order. In reverse direction as well, based on your use case, you can select the mode which you want to operate the motor. For this tutorial, you need an Arduino board, a stepper motor, I'm using this 28 BYJ 48 stepper motor, stepper motor driver board, so in my case ULN2003, some jumper wires and additionally to provide 5 volt supply for the motor. I'll be using this waste USB cable along with the power bank. I purchased all these project components from flyrobo.in. They have very huge collection of components and the prices are also reasonable compared to other platforms. Along with Arduino components, there are also other categories. So this single platform will help you to get all the required materials for your project. Make sure you explore their products. I'll leave the link in the description box. Coming to the connections, first plug the motor connector directly to the provided port on the motor driver. The control pins input 1, 2, 3 and 4 goes to Arduino digital pins 2, 3, 
4 and 5 and for power supply we have negative and positive terminal which goes to the positive and negative terminal from the USB cable so later I plug this to the power bank moving on to the programming part first we'll write the code for the wave operation mode as per this table or the sequence so in the declaration we'll declare four pins I'll name it ABCD and connect it to digital pins 2 3 4 and 5 all the pins are output so in the setup function I'll set the pin mode as output and in the loop we have to just call digital write functions for all the four pins as per this combination starting with first pulse where a pin will be 1 and other three will be 0 digital write a 1 so instead of 1 0 you can also use high or low I'll go with 1 or 0 B 0 C 0 D also 0 so we have to give some delay between each pulse so we can give 2 milliseconds so next will be the second pulse where B will be 1 other 3 pins will be 0 I'll make B as 1 I'll copy paste the same for the third pulse C1 rest zeros and for last D1 rest pins will be 0 so we have completed all four pulses I'll upload this code and we'll see how it works after uploading I'll provide the 5 volt supply from the power bank and now the motor starts working so the code we have written here has multiple digital write functions for every pulse so we'll try to optimize it using arrays and for loop so that will be very easy to continue further so instead of declaring the pins individually I'll create array of four elements with int data type I'll keep the array name as control pins and inside the array we have four elements or the four pins which are 2 comma 3 comma 4 and 5 so now we don't need this declaration since we have all the four pins here in the setup function instead of writing pin mode four times I'll remove this and add for loop which runs from 0 up to 3 so that actually counts 4 in total here I'll write pin mode so our index will point to all the four pins inside the array and we have to set all the pins to output similarly in the loop section instead of writing digital write function four times I'll keep it once just similar to this way so for loop which will run from 0 to 3 or 4 counts control pins as a first argument and in the second argument we have to pass one or zero values as per this pulses so now it's time to declare all the four pulses in the form of array so I'll again go to the declaration section so since we have to give either 0 or 1 we can go with bool data type pulse 1 
which has four elements and value is 1000 similarly pulse 2 is 0 1 0 0 pulse 3 will have 0 0 1 0 and pulse 4 will be 0 0 0 1 so this looks way better and easy to understand so first we have to pass the pulse 1 data which will index all the four elements similar to the pins so that's it and I'll copy the same for the second pulse instead of this digital write functions here also our for loop will run for four counts 0 to 3 pins will be same 2 3 4 5 but instead of first pulse we have to pass these values which we have declared as pulse 2 which is this one so done with the second and for the third I'll replace this change the pulse 2 with the pulse 3 and the last will be the pulse 4 values so we are done with the code I'll just upload this and anyhow the results will be same So moving on to the next is the full step mode which will be based on uh, this table or the sequence. One advantage of writing the code in this array format is now we don't have to change anything in the logic. If we just modify this pulse arrays, we'll get the full step mode. So starting with the first pulse which is 1100, we'll directly edit here in the declaration. 1100 next is 0 110 and pulse 3 0 0 1 1 and last one 1 0 0 1 so we are done with the full step mode code I'll upload and we'll see the results the motor started running we can't see any major difference in the rotation but if you try to check the shaft you can feel more torque so moving on to the third one which is half stepping mode where the shaft rotates at shorter step angle we need more pulses so that's why we have eight rows here instead of four we'll start updating our previous code so the first combination is 1000 0, 0, 0, 1100 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. I'll declare four more arrays and name it as pulse 5 pulse 6 7 and 8 so fifth one will be 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 and last 1001 so we are done with all the pulse sequence for this we also have to update the loop section so instead of four digital write functions we have to add eight so I'll copy the previous one It was 4 before. Now we'll start with the fifth one. 
this is 6 this will be 7 and last is 8 so we have completed the code I'll upload this and we'll see the results so in this case we can feel the shaft is rotating slowly because it is covering more steps compared to the previous modes so till here we have completed all the modes in the forward direction to rotate the motor in the reverse direction the concept remains same we have to just reverse the pulse sequence and this is same irrespective of the modes for demonstration I'll use this wave operation sequence since the values are simple and easy to change for now so I'll open my previous wave operation code so here there are two ways which you can achieve this either changing the values directly in the array declaration or in the loop we can update the pulse signal in the digital write function so here instead of pulse 1 I'll start with pulse 4 so considering the reverse order 4 3 2 1 starting with 4 3 2 and 1 so I don't want to modify this array I've directly updated the order of the pulse here in the loop section we'll again upload the code and see the results so in this mode the motor shaft is rotating in the opposite direction so this is all about the basics of stepper motor I hope this video will be helpful for code and circuit diagram visit the link in the description box we'll be coming up with more interesting projects using the stepper motor stay tuned and subscribe thank you for watching we'll be back in the next video